Hello and welcome. Today me and my two friends Guillaume and Brent will be debunking the stereotype of the only art that comes out of Belgium are comics. Uh, this stereotype didn't really exist before the Smurfs. The Smurfs are really the, the biggest comic from Belgium and they're well known everywhere around the world. Um, so the point of this vlog is to basically show you different types of arts from Belgium. Uh, I'll, be ha I'll be talking about surrealism. So what is surrealism? It started after World War I, when a couple of artists that band together made uh, really weird art inspired by the real world. So not abstract art, it's inspired by real images, but it's just very weird. So the most important one, important one would be René Magritte. Uh, he's most well known for his image of the treachery of images, I'm pretty sure. And it's basically an image of a pipe, and be under the pipe it says, this is not a pipe. So, it's a pipe, but it's not a pipe because it's an image. But it's still a pipe because it's, a, it's an image of a pipe. Um, I'm not too impressed with that one. My favorite one would be the Philosopher's Lamp. Uh, I'll be handing it over to the, to the other two to tell you about other forms of art. Thank you. Hello and welcome. Today I will be talking about... Victor Servranks. Victor Servranks was a pioneer of the abstract art genre in Belgium. Abstract art is a very niche art style which I myself don't particularly enjoy that much that doesn't really try to get an accurate depiction of reality but instead tries to use shapes, lines, colors and gestures to achieve its effects. In his early years, Victor uh, made a career for himself by making abstract sculptures and he even had a job as an architect, but he quickly changed to painting. Victor is most well known for his Opus series, which is a series of drawings which really utilizes almost every aspect of the art style. Like I mentioned before, I'm not really a fan of the art style myself, but there was one that stood out the most and that is Opus 47. It's just something about the the colors and the shapes used that makes it stand out from the rest. So that was it for me and I will pass it over to Guillaume. Hello everyone, I'm going to speak about a really known artist from Belgium. His name is Trumai and uh, he made a lot of French songs. His most uh, known songs are Formidable. Mai is a rapper, a songwriter, and a singer. His real name is Paul van Haver. And he also has his brand called Mozart. He also collaborates with famous artists like Kenny West, Billy Eilish, and uh, Coldplay. Now the question for you is which pop singer is well known in your country but not so well known in our country. Looking forward to see your vlog. Au revoir.